and Steel Titans do freestyle. Now here we're going to be doing one thing. We're going to be doing for the first episode. I want to see how this goes down for you guys when it comes to the actual video. But for now, we're going to be doing five trucks. We're going to be doing five trucks freestyles. We're going to be giving them at least two minutes and 30 seconds to put on a performance. And then at the end of the video, in the comments down below, I want to know you guys' decision. Who do you think had the best freestyle and who do you think should go into a champion next week? We're going to go week by week until we get into stadiums. And then once we're due with stadiums, we're going to end it off all the way in Orlando freestyle. So anyway, guys, let's get this started. Let me get the timer real quick up, ready to go. And two minutes and twenty, two minutes and thirty seconds are on the board, and we are here with Northern Nightmare, the Canadian truck. That I actually, I actually really, really like the designs. We are here, and I forgot the name of the place, but anyway, guys, let's get this on the clock. And as soon as the first jump hits, we're gonna start the clock. Here we go. Time has started. As Northern Night, as we hit, as Northern Nightmare hits the first jump, get some huge air coming off the huge air. Is going to look to go back and get some more huge air coming across. Kind of hits the jump. Kind of hits the ramp. Very weird. Heads into the cyclone. Let's see how long he can keep the cyclone. Now, if he flips over on two wheels like this, I'm going to consider... I mean, I really need to know your guys' opinions down in the comments down below. Do you think that if they go on, like, if they flip over, like, actual Monster Jam trucks, that should be the end of the run? Or do you think they should go all four as... He had some huge air again that that should be the end of the run where like all four wheels are off They can't even turn the car and turn the truck and get back on as some more huge air from Northern Nightmare As he continues to try and put on a very good performance, but we've only seen big air from Northern Nightmare We have to see something else and he's going for that little t I forget I don't even know the logs that are supposed to give you like are supposed to be for the two two wheel skills um, and Monster Jam as he hits it again and goes back, same thing. So far it's been a decent run from Northern Nightmare and this Canadian truck as Northern Nightmare lines up again. Looks ready to hit some big air again and he hits a big air here, here. And can he do a stop beat? Oh no! That's the end of the run. I'm, I'm counting that as the end of the run. I'm counting that. So with one minute on the clock, Northern Nightmare's run is done if they if they do if they go on their wheels twice on two wheels twice that is the end of their run so northern nightmare is done and we shall get ready for the next truck unfortunately for northern nightmare he did not give to fill off the clock and here we are back in salt lake city with this time we're doing soldier fortune black ops now let's see if they can have a better run than the Northern Nightmare truck could get as he start. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even restart the timer. Let's go. Two minutes and thirty is on the clock. By the way, guys, if you want to know how Northern Nightmare did, they only had one minute left on the clock as as Soldier Fortune Black Ops tries to hit a back has tries to stop B, but he, he has a very good run and I like his momentum. Oh, that's not gonna look good. That's not gonna look good. Can he save that? Yes, he does. What a save from Soldier Fortune Black Ops. And now, when it comes to this type of track, when it comes to this type of track here in Salt Lake City, it's not really built for. It's not really built for um. What's it called? It's not really built for like big, like bit, like great competitions. So that's why it's a stadium. But once we, I'm um, sorry, it's an arena. But once you get to the stadiums, that's when things are going to start picking up. But for right now, it's all about big air and two wheel skills, basically. As Soldier Fortune hits a stoppy, but no, oh no, he goes over, and that is going to be the end of Soldier Fortune's run with a minute 35 on the clock. Unfortunately for the driver of Soldier Fortune Black Ops, they will have to wait until next week, possibly to see if they can have and become the freestyle world champion. But let's move on. But let's move on into the next truck now. Who will it be? And here we are back again in Salt Lake City. This time with Earthshaker as he gets ready to hopefully fulfill the clock and fill out his time. We're going to start the clock in 3, 
two, one, timer has started as Earthshaker does not hit the big air. Instead, Earthshaker looks like he's gonna go for something very, very different. He's gonna go for a backwards two wheel skills thing. Can he nail it? And he hits a stoppy, but it kind of doesn't work really. But that was kind of different compared to what other people would were doing. So that if he felt at the time, he should probably if if I was scoring this, he would be if he feels at the time, he would be the leader. As he hits another stoppy, as he continues, man, this guy's having a very very good run, and he does a bicycle to continue. And now he's going to do a two wheel skills this time, but this time he's going to nail it from the top. And he's absolutely killing this run so far. All he has to do is just keep the truck on the right side, all in all four wheels, and he will get this. As he pulls off an, a wheelie, Earthshaker's had a very, very good run. And now he's going to continue with some big air here in Earthshaker, here in Salt Lake City, as Earthshaker looks to become the freestyle world champion for week one. As he hits a two wheel skills, logs again kind of does a bicycle comes off the ramp very awkward and oh no oh, can he save it yes he can Earthshaker with a minute left on the with about a minute left on the clock he looks to become the leader for this or what, whatever you guys think because you guys may think that the other the other two competitors that oh no 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 with 57 seconds on the clock Earthshaker's run is done and that concludes Earthshaker's run and his hopes to become the freestyle winner. If he had failed at the time, he would probably have been the freestyle champion for this week one. But but now it's time to move on to week. Um, now it's time to move on to the next truck and see who can beat Earthshaker's run. Because right now, Earthshaker is definitely the leader in my opinion. Well, well, well. If it isn't time for some maximum destruction, welcome to Salt Lake City, Max D. Let's get this timer started. Here we go, Max D. Ray says some big air. Max D. gets some huge air to start off with as he hits the stop as well. And this time he's gonna, uh, uh, can he walk it? No, 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 no. Oh, what a save from Max D. Nearly. Put it on all four on on the other room stop as he gets some huge air again. His ends off on the ramp really weird. But this time stops and Max D is done with two minutes on the clock. Unfortunately for Max D, his time is over. That's a very big disappointment for Max D. But move on. We have two more trucks left to go before we end this. So let's so let's see who is next when it comes to these trucks. Well, he's bad to the bone. Welcome to Salt Lake City Grave Digger with one more truck after Grave Digger left to go. If Grave Digger can fill out the whole 2 minute 30 seconds, he will be the freestyle champion if I had to score this. But so far, nobody's been able to fit, fill out the time because everybody's at least flipped. The only one that actually hasn't flipped out on two tires or flipped on, you know, I flipped onto his backside was the first truck, but. He flipped over onto two wheels, and I've seen Monster Jam a whole bunch of times. If you flip onto two wheels, and sometimes when you can't save it, that means your your, your thing is done. And if he flips onto two tires again, then I'm going to discount that, and you're not going to be able to complete your run. And then probably next week, I'll probably have, if they don't complete the time within, if they don't get to within a minute, I'll probably give them the rest of the time to do an encore for the fans that are actually not here in, this, in the arena. But anyway guys, let's get this started off and let's start off with Gravedigger's time. Here we go, timer has started as Gravedigger looks to be some looks to do something different and get some digger donuts here. And does it cyclone? Oh he saves it. Do I count that as the first no I'm not gonna count that. As Gravedigger hits some huge air from the digger. Lands off, lands pretty well. Oh no 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 I'm not gonna count that either. Uh, uh. Oh, and Digger's run is done. What is up with this? Everybody's had having such a disappointing run. Grave Digger is absolutely done, and we shall move on into the and we shall move on into the final truck, 
And it just has to be a son of a gun. <laughs> well, when I meant son of a gun, I meant son of a digger, Ryan Anderson, and son of a digger. Let's get this time started, and hopefully Ryan Anderson cannot flip over onto all four wheels. Or he's going to probably look at the runs that they've had and see that they've had very, very run. And let's actually go on board with Ryan Anderson in Son of a Digger. And let's go on board and let's take a look at his freestyle run as he tries to beat Earthshaker's run, who didn't complete the time, but had the best freestyle performance in my honest opinion. But it's gonna really depend on your guys' opinion on who is really gonna be freestyle champion for Salt Lake City as we get off on board and as we continue down now. As Ryan Anderson continues on, He's just trying to fill out the clock, have a very good run as he uses some of his own donuts and kind of does a wheelie. And he can he save it? That's going to count as one. So if he goes on two wheels again, his run will be done. So Ryan Anderson just has to be smart about this and not make any mistakes throughout his run. And he will be the freestyle world champion if I was scoring this as he nearly flips on two wheels but manages to save it. As he continues on hitting some big air again from Ryan Anderson in Son of a Digger. As he's controlling the truck, managing to hit some ramps, but not in a way that he can flip over his car or flip over his truck. As he almost has a minute left on the clock. Now will Ryan Anderson go for something that Urshaker did? Looks like it. He looks like he's lining it up. He's going to do it. Oh, uh, he kind of does it, but not really as well as Shaker. But Ryan Anderson is saying that he will do this. And he doesn't do it that well at, at all either. But he manages to pull off a stoppy. While continuing, and he has 30 seconds left on the clock now. So all Ryan Anderson needs to do now is just not flip over like that, and he'll be good as he manages to save the truck and hit some big air again. Ryan Anderson looks to be your freestyle world champion. If he can save this, no, 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 no. With 18 seconds on the clock, Ryan Anderson, son of a digger, and a flipping on the troop out there, getting a weird bounce coming off the big jump. And Ryan Anderson will be done. So if I was scoring this for you guys, I would probably say Ryan Anderson is my freestyle champion but it's really really close between him and Earthshaker but I want to know your guys opinions in the down in the comments down below who do you think was the freestyle world champion for week one of Monster Jam Steel Times let me know in the comments down below but anyway guys I will see you guys all with the next video where we'll be heading to Wilkes Bar for week two of this Monster Jam Steel Times 2 freestyle see you guys later peace